Stefan's birthday, 31st of August in the year 2010. Teach class today. It's, it's my birthday anyway. Somebody, there's nobody here to help me get my shirt off. Uh, how am I going to get these shoes off now? It's, I put the glue stick in them to keep them on. Uh, well, uh, well, what, uh, it's my birthday. Uh, you know, it kind of reminds me about. Uh, to think now, I might to think about some of my old students and you know, all these years back, some of what, uh, what they have done and stuff like that, you know. And of course, um, some of them have, uh, you know, they just, you know, lead their lives and kind of disappear, you know, that happens and you never see them again, you know, uh, occasionally or something like that, you know. They go and, like many of the girls, you know, like, uh, Gabby, she she went and uh, got married somewhere. You know, it's her, like her and Angelica. It, uh, you, uh, you know, who did I remember? I believe even Amanda the same. Only uh, uh, I'd seen Amanda sometimes. She has a, a couple of kids now. They're um, they they strangely poor poor kids. So she has uh, I believe that. You know, Amanda's driving them crazy. Uh, 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 well, else was in class years ago? Uh, Diana, uh, it was, uh, since I remember, she got to 200 pounds or something and moved to Montana, it's, uh, uh, eating lots of cornmeal. Uh, but Alice, Alice, uh, now this is something quite amazing. Alice now has a a television show, uh, Channel 34, a, a, a religious show, but it, it is sponsored by her own business. Uh, she has this uh, massage business, you know, they flash it on the screen with, a, with some 976 number or something. You can get something done to massage you, you know, if you want any 24 hours a day, you know. Who is, oh, you know, who is this something interesting? A, um, Loretta, you know, Loretta, you know, she has an IQ maybe of 200, you know, like over 200, and, you know, she has traveled to Mars and back as a, as a, a scientist, to, you know, for, for NASA, but the strangest thing, you know, she, she still has the hardest time doing a, a and change. Um, uh, you remember Jeanette, uh, she's quite, but, uh, you know, uh, she was uh, from one of our old bloopers. She was a uh, favorite blooper with the with the oversized uh, leotard. But well, not that problem now. She's gained quite a bit of weight. Uh, oh no, maybe a hundred and thirty pounds or more. You know, but but uh, Alina, you know, she's um, she makes an incredible amount of money now. She teaches uh, conventions across the country, and she works with. Uh, with Richard Simmons, uh, that is quite something. We see her on television every now and then. Uh, uh, what else was there? Let's see. Yumi. Uh, there was a little Japanese girl in my class who didn't talk much. I haven't heard from her in a long time. Um, but um, somewhere along the line, I heard that she had become uh, an, an exotic dancer. It was something very interesting. Uh, then it's some things never changed. So you know, I remember Harry with the with the long dreadlocks. It's, damn it, I, I have his kids in my class now. He's uh, also with the dreadlocks, and he uh, he uh, he plays the flute. Uh, 
Then it's he played the other day with the damn roller skates, even uh, running through the classroom. Ah. Uh, what else can I remember? No, I can't remember quite as good as I used to be. That. Well, maybe, well, you know, of course, Ariel is, is still performing and dancing, maybe even something's better than ever. Um, she, you know, never liked teaching or anything. Well, uh, she coaches every once in a while, but, uh, you know, every once in a while when she, uh, you know, she has some kids and she takes them on her trips to L.A., uh, she, you know, she doesn't live anymore, but one of them takes ballets, so one not quite as talented as her mother, but uh, I must admit there is one improvement. Uh, she takes class at least twice a week. Yeah. Uh, uh, Charles, uh, you know, Charles Torres, uh, he did very well, but uh, he, uh, he stopped performing by the time he was 30 due to, you know, he had many injuries, but uh, uh, remember, he had this obsession with Mickey Mouse. You know, he had the, that tattoo on his rear. Well, uh, he, he became quite successful. He came up with the idea of of the edible tattoo that you could put on almost anything. Uh, you know, every kid goes to school with a Mickey Mouse on his peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, 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 Robin, my dear, the, the little artist, uh, she has become quite famous now, you see, a uh, sort of most very strange occurrence. Uh, she was given the opportunity to uh, paint a three-way mural, and she, she did one of uh, those velocity-type paintings of hers, and Unfortunately, they, they had to paint something else over it because people driving by at night kept uh, pulling over to the side thinking they were ill or had drunk too much, not realizing the, the painting was really the blur, you know. Uh, in Koide, uh, you had this uh, very beautiful Japanese girl that took me from maybe 14 years old or something, and She's uh, still dancing. She's danced in many ballet companies for many years, and, and she teaches ballet now, but she has this strange reputation. Uh, the students uh, for her, uh, have, have these names for her, like uh, the sergeant, uh, general, or uh, uh, Tiller. I don't know. She must be very strict or something. I, I can't understand. There is... I was always so easy on her. Uh, let's see, who is, uh, is uh, Katsumi? As I remember him, he took me for a long time. Um, you know, I think he's still making sushi someplace. Uh, he makes some special ones out of, I think he's like Great White Shark or something. He opened up some sushi bar in Australia or something. That, uh, Oh, you know, it's the, it comes around every once in a while. I'm so pleased. He's uh, 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 little Lenny. Uh, he finally got his break in show business. Uh, he, he got his own TV show for children. He's sort of the new Pee Wee Herman. I'm not sure, but I think he is... Um, I don't know, he plays some type of uh, underground, underground alien or something like that. I see what is interesting is, uh, you know, in, in, in these last 20 years, you know, society has changed quite a bit. Uh, your marijuana is uh, legal now. And oddly enough, you know, uh, Joy, well, you know, he danced very well, but uh, actually he, uh, he went back to the waffles. And uh, he created this, this, uh, this restaurant, this uh, adult for 21 and over, like a waffle bar, uh, very unique. Uh, he, you know, he would put this, you know, his special stuff in in his waffle appetizers. You know, in I don't know if it's one of the most expensive restaurants in town, but 
you know, it's, it's, the people there always had the biggest appetites. Uh, we need to, you know, um, speaking, uh, thinking of him, you know, uh, must we also have, uh, have Randy. Uh, uh, damn it, that uh, son of a bitch. Uh, uh, you know, I've, I've always gotten along really well with the blacks, you know, I've always, for some reason, They've always liked me and my classes. Well, the strangest thing, of course, you know, uh, uh, Randy, well, uh, he, you know, he married a Jewish girl and he became Jewish himself. You know, I mean, he eats bagels and uh, filthy fish. Uh, damn it. Uh, damn it. He, he, you know, he... He owns this studio now. This studio that I teach, he owns it. He bought the whole thing. You know, I think it's he is some part of some type of Jewish mafia, some kind of conspiracy with David and Steve. Uh, you know, Randy made a hell of a lot of money with some type of uh, clinic he runs. The government pays him for being some sort of doctor to the homeless. He, he must see at least 300, maybe 500 people a day. Yeah. And Steve, you know, we never thought he would be successful, but, you know, not, not only he got his bar going, but uh, it, it, now it takes up the whole block. This is maybe one of the most famous, or, uh, should I say, uh, infamous, uh, infamous places in town. Uh, he changed the name to the gangbangers. And, uh, you know, these gangbangers, these gang members, they actually go there to settle their differences it's by playing some sort of the, the ultimate arcade game that, you know, uses these, these lasers and such. You know, I don't know. Um, you know and, of course, David... Um, David directs him, 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 I'm very proud of him, he directs a major ballet company now, uh, one that he actually created, but uh, most unusual thing, he, he, he combined it somehow with a, with a business, see this, like the only ballet company on the stock market. Uh, you wouldn't, you would not believe how he did this. Um, remember how you were selling some sort of vitamin stuff? Well, well, he opened a, a chain of vitamin stores in uh, in Russia called uh, Vodka and More. Uh, I must say it was a unique idea, but, um, damn it, you know, I, I'm still waiting for him to make my bookshelf. Uh, uh, at least I, uh, I wish he could get back here soon to fix the clock on my VCR. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say. I just uh, maybe I just rest today. You know, I bet myself. You know, I, I just, uh, it, it's classes are mostly the same and stuff like that. Uh, I am going going out now. I have a new girlfriend. Uh, you know, I always liked Oriental girls, and you know, I'm going out with one now. The, uh, the only thing is. Uh, you know, she has kind of short legs. Uh, you know, she's a Chinese girl. She has kind of short legs in a in a pumpkin head. But you know, uh, but uh, what the hell? You know, she's only you know she's in her thirties. You know, uh, uh, Stefan still has it there. And the uh, one last thing uh, for one last thing uh, she's really this is most incredible thing of note, you know, I mean, this is going to be the most amazing success of all, you know, it's, uh, uh, everybody who's have to be looking at now because, you know, my book is almost finished. Uh, put another candle on my birthday cake. And tell a wish, uh, a wish I make. Uh, put another candle on my birthday cake. Uh, another year old today. Uh, damn it. Uh, 
would have some cake and sandwiches and chocolate ice cream too. And then we dance in the day away. And then I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah, but first, um, put another candle on my birthday cake and another, and another. And then I wish, uh, I wish I'll make, put another candle on my birthday cake. But remember, I'm still 52 years old today.